Hey YouTube, Casey Classic 7 here back again with another video. This is going to be episode 1 of my my GM. Surprisingly enough, this is the first year of me playing my GM since the mode was introduced back in 2014 when 2K jumped to the PS4. And it's a lot more interesting than what I expected it to be. There's a lot of cool dynamic things that are in the mode that um, I think a lot of people overlook and they really don't think about, um, in the perspective of someone who doesn't play my GM, like one of the things that I had to deal with was my chemistry as a team and chemistry from player to player. Um, for whatever reason, they have Carmelo Anthony be a complete drama queen so he was literally in my office every other week and just uh managing his morale was uh um was a chore in itself so as you see we finish a little bit better than the real life knicks with a couple more wins um but overall not a good season not too concerned though as you see, my chemistry is high, and overall, team chemistry um, from player to player is high as well. But I want to give you guys a quick overview of what happened in my season. Um, kind of similar to what happened in real life. The Golden State Warriors did win the finals. 4-1. Only difference was Steph Curry was the MVP. He had a crazy series, though. Like, I think that he 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 averaged, like, 30-something points. Um, close to 10 boards, close to 10 assists. Like, I think he was 37, um, 7 boards, 9 assists, something like that. So, he had a crazy, crazy, crazy um, finals. So, we'll go through some of my... Award winners, Russell Westbrook does win the MVP, also averaged a triple-double. But the triple-double the triple double he averaged was uh, crazy, too. It was crazy as well. He had, like, 35 points, I want to say 13 boards, 12 assists. So he had a crazy triple-double year. Um, ten, And he had almost, like, three offensive rebounds. So um, take that for what it is. Rookie of the year, Joel Embiid. Not too surprised there. Another thing... I'm going to get into the playoffs, too, um, in this as well. Corey Joseph was the sixth man of the year. He had a good season. I think he shot like 40-something from three. Um, Hassan Whiteside, defensive player of the year, most improved. Jokic, um, no surprise there as well. Uh, as you see, he made the first team uh, NBA with LeBron James, James Harden, Westbrook, and Antetokounmpo, Kawhi, Damian. DeMarcus Cousins, Curry, KD, third team was John Wall with CJ McCollum. I'm not surprised here because he was a top five scorer. Um, or definitely top ten. I'm not sure about top five, but he was in the top ten. Um, he was right behind Damian Lillard with Blake Griffin, Anthony Davis, and Hassan Whiteside. So... Here goes my defensive team, Westbrook with Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, Hassan Whiteside, Anthony Davis. Second team, D Dwayne Wade still playing defense um, as he gets up there in age. LeBron James, New Orleans Noel. This was the one kind of uh, I was surprised about. Tony Allen, Antetokounmpo. Aaron Gomez made the first team rookie team. Was a little bit surprised by that, but he balled out this year. And just uh, showing you guys some of the awards. Steve Kerr, again, second year in a row, wins the coach of the year. And they also had the GM of the year as well. I think they had 20 losses, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say that they finished with 20 losses, right? 62 and 20 so not a bad year not a bad year at all for the uh champions so let's get into some of the stats 
I'm gonna get more into detail about what's actually going on from my perspective and from the next perspective of my GM and um, some videos later down the line. But again, like I said, I want to give you guys an overview of what is going on around the league before I do that. So Westbrook led in points, and he led by a lot. Wow, that's crazy how much he led by. Um, onto the Kumbo, almost averaging, oh no, almost averaging a double-double. That's not bad, though. Five assists, two steals, nine boards, 22 points. Yeah, he's doing it all. Two blocks. I'm surprised he wasn't um in the running for Defensive Player of the Year. Kyrie Irving. He got injured game five when I looked it up. Or game four, not game five. In a loss, 18 and five. It's not too bad. He was shoot. He didn't have a bad um series either. Looking back at it. 715. 10 for 19. He didn't shoot too well from three of these two games. But he was lighting it up. Um those next two games. So those assist numbers can be a little bit higher, but, you know, Dwayne Wade with 22, five boards, two steals, a block. That's not a bad, it's not a bad year either. Let's see, assigned white side with lead and rebounding. It's crazy, Westbrook up there with, re with rebounds as well. Um, he led with 12 assists. It's just like he did everything for this team. It looks like, like it, the way he is out, um, the way he he is out doing whatever category it, it is. It's just by a lot. Like that's a that's a huge that's a huge point differential. Even with the assists, like that's almost three, uh, that's almost a uh, three assists more than what Chris Paul did. Like that's a lot. Um, it's down for steals though, but even a uh, steal in half a game isn't bad though. Four turnovers, not surprised there that he led in turnovers. Chris Paul with four turnovers. Hmm. Yeah, because they didn't have a good year. They went five hundred. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, this, that had to be a, four turnovers for Chris Paul, yeah, that seemed like it was extremely high. I knew it wasn't going crazy. Uh, three steals, though, not too bad. So, I don't think I'll be able, I don't know if they have it to where I can show the playoff standings. Oh, no, here it is. So, I don't know what it is about Philadelphia in, in the My GM, but they always have, like, a crazy good year. Um, every, I didn't have the rosters to where people were injured so Ben Simmons was playing and they just had a good year like they didn't really have any you know over I mean overall in in the 2k like in 2k they have a overall um balanced team Ben Simmons 81 he definitely jumped up from what he was at I think he's at a 78 79 so he definitely jumped had a huge leap there and just like I said, overall they have a pretty ba balanced team. So this is definitely going to be one of those teams to look out for. I I know in my my GM, if they can get like one more good player, they'll definitely be able to challenge for um one of the top seeds. I mean they're already the third seed with what they have now, which is um crazy in itself. So I was surprised by Charlotte. Um, originally when I looked at their record, but they had a bunch of injuries this year. Um, I, th I saw Nick Batoon, he was injured. Like, almost all of their big men were injured. Um, Kaminsky was injured, as you can see. Um, K Zeller was injured. Look like Gerald Henderson was injured, or he might not have played, but... Um, Miles Plumley was injured. It looks like some it's at some part of the season, only playing twenty seven games. So yeah, they they were just um hit with injuries. 
Indiana. Let's see what happened here. I'm surprised that they didn't make it into the playoffs. Well, they all played their all of their games. So the starting five played. It looked like they played every game. As well as. Okay, so CJ Miles was injured. Yeah, this is. It looked like they just had like a bad year. It doesn't look like it was anything that was too crazy that happened with Indiana. Why they didn't um, make it into the playoffs. That's pretty surprising. Not going to lie. Um, let's see. I didn't look at John Wall. See how he had it. He had 18 and 10. It's not too bad. I always feel like John Wall has like these um, good years, but there's just always another player at his position that overshines him. Like you had um, Russell Westbrook this previous year, Steph Curry the last year, and he just always looked like he gets overshined um, as, well as, as well as what Isaiah Thomas did this last year. Um, he's He's well. He's still. He's one of the um, better point guards in the league. He just never really gets recognition for it. Um, from your casual, I'll say, basketball fans, you know, obviously people who watch basketball see what he's doing and is and is impressed by it. Thunder finished with the third at the third seed. A little surprised by that. Houston at the second seed. One of the yeah, that was surprised by Dallas even making it into the playoffs this year with their roster. I mean, they don't really have the greatest roster. But again, this is like another team that has a good collection of talent. So that's probably how they made it in. The Clippers, this was a team I was surprised by. As you see, Chris Paul was hurt this year, though. And you see he had a down year with four turnovers. Um, and seeing Paul Pierce... He seeing how it looks like he started for them. I don't know why they have Paul Pierce starting. Ish Smith. Oh, they probably tr they okay. So they traded. Um. Hmm. Nope. I thought they trade. I don't know who they traded for Ish Smith. Um. Uh, maybe Raymond Felton or somebody. Possibly. Nope. Not Raymond Felton. I don't know who they traded for to get Ish Smith, but that was not the move it looked like. He played all every game though. Ten point six assists. It's not terrible. But yeah, see any any well Blake in, Blake Griffin also got injured. So <laughs> no surprise here. Usually what happens with the Clippers in real life. Both Blake and Chris Paul got injured, so not so with them both them both being injured. I'm not surprised that they finished at 500. It just kind of sucks because, you know, they are definitely on the downhill of what, um, from those championship aspirations. So I wonder what they're gonna end up doing to uh, keep this afloat. Eight points. I'm yeah. I don't know why they had uh, Paul Pierce starting though. That's kind of weird, especially when a Bob ba Mute played as many games as he did. He wasn't gonna really contribute offensively, but he would have definitely been a probably a better defensive presence than um, what Paul Pierce would have been. Yeah, Memphis was the last team I'll probably look at. Then I'll probably wrap this video up because I already know it's getting pretty long. Mike Connolly got injured this year. Um, both of their bigs played all year. Gorgy Jang. That's look. That's not a bad. Uh, it's not a bad trade. They got a crazy front court. It looks like, especially with Jamichael Green too. You still got Brandon right up there. Yeah, they're gonna definitely have to get rid of some of these these big men. Why do that? Why do they stockpile all these big men? Um, they got another big man. Yeah, they gotta find a way to get some guards on this team. So. That was the problem there. They probably had no shooting from anybody on this team. As you see, Mike Connolly was down. Um, Vince Carter shot 35 from three. He shot terrible from three, 21%. Oh, my gosh. 28%. Yet, yeah, I'm not surprised that this team dropped the way that they did. They had no three-point shooters outside of Mike Connolly. And he didn't play that many games this year so 
that will definitely do it for you and you see that they are in the rebuilding state anyway so that was episode one of what was going on in my my gm definitely will be uh, back very soon like i said kind of interesting kind of interested to see how this my gm is going to overall um run its course as i progress through it so guys stay tuned kc classic 7 signing out